Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be painting our dishwasher, our microwave and oven, and one of our refrigerators stainless steel. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the entire process, everything we did, the mistakes we made, the pros, the cons, how we are feeling about our appliances now that they are painted, how it's holding up. The first thing that you need to do is order some of this stainless steel paint off Amazon. While we are quarantined, this is a perfect time to just have something dropped off at your front door and do a fun little project while you're bored. So go ahead and order it. It will be linked down below. We started with our dishwasher and I would say this one turned out the worst out of all of them because it was our first try. And I will tell you guys what we did that was a mistake, but it still turned out really, really good. So the first step is to just clean your appliance with glass cleaner. That is what the instructions say to use. So just give it a really, really good clean. Remove any of that dirt, grease, or dust that's going to get in the way of getting a really smooth finish when you paint. After that, you just need to sand everything down. This is kind of the point of no return. Once you do this, you really will have to paint your appliances, but we love the end result so much, we don't regret it at all. So first you're going to use the base coat. When we opened this up and I saw this paint, I was like, yes, this is so pretty. It's gonna turn out so good. I was so excited. We did this with our toddler and baby around. It was that easy to do, so don't be afraid. It is one of the simplest DIY projects ever, so you really don't even have to have any artistic ability. You are literally just painting like you would a wall, and you can do it with a toddler talking your ear off the entire time and actually giving you instructions on what to do. So if you need any help, I do know of a three-year-old that could give you some advice. So now we are just brushing on the base coat. Something that is very important is you only want to apply thin, light coats, and then you want to let it dry for an entire hour. That is where we think we went wrong with this dishwasher. You will see how it turns out. It's still really, really good, and we like it a lot. It's just not quite as covered as the other appliances turned out, and we think it's just because we got a little bit impatient and we didn't let it dry fully, and we kind of just started applying heavier coats. We also thought that once we put the top coat on that it would look better. So we did that and it really all the top coat does is add the gloss, the shine to it. So as you can see after two coats, it's already looking really good but you can still see some of the black behind it. I think if you have a white dishwasher, it's gonna be a lot easier but obviously with black, it takes a few more coats to cover it and you really want to listen to the instructions when they say to let it dry. It still turns out really good though. So what we did is we put the top coat on and we realized, man, this does not look quite like we want it to. We still see the black some and we don't like that. So we ended up sanding it again and painting a couple more coats on it.
How are you feeling about this? I'm tired, but I'm excited. So this is how it looked before we applied the top coat that my husband is stirring right now. And as you can see, when we applied the top coat, it didn't really change much because it just only adds the shine. So what we did is we sanded it down again and my husband added a few more coats and that made a huge difference and we really, really like it now. So don't be discouraged if you feel like you rushed or you messed up because you can salvage this you can just keep applying coats like there's really no harm in that so yeah it can be salvaged however I don't think it turned out as good as our microwave and oven particularly our oven I think our ovens my favorite maybe our refrigerator I'm not sure we do have a stainless steel refrigerator like an actual stainless steel refrigerator but then we have another refrigerator that when we bought this house was here and we put that in our laundry room and that's the one that we painted because it was black like the rest of the appliances Now we are moving on to the microwave. I would say this one was the most difficult to paint just because it's smaller, there's a lot of edges that you have to worry about, but it was not that hard. Again, it's just, I guess, time consuming because you have to keep applying more and more coats. And when you're doing basically all of your appliances, it can take a few days, but really none of these were that hard. So we are just applying the first coat. I keep saying we, this is my husband who's doing it, but I was taking care of the kids and filming, so I was part of this, thank you very much. <laughs> Anywho, we started off with just this part of the microwave, and then we did decide to paint the rest of the microwave. You guys will see, it just didn't look complete, and I'm really, really glad that we did the rest of it. I think it really made it look more complete. We did leave certain parts black, like the part where all the buttons are on the microwave and the oven, and we left this black piece on the bottom of the oven. I thought that really tied in the black and the stainless steel combination, but yeah, I'm really glad we painted the stuff around the microwave as well. You might be wondering when it comes to a microwave if it made it difficult to press the button that opens the microwave or to just open the microwave at all since you are painting it. And I would say no. There was one time at the very beginning when maybe some of the paint got inside the button and it was kind of hard to push. But besides that, we have had no issues. It worked itself out. And we have been using this microwave for a few days now and it's been perfectly fine. When applying the top coat, the instructions say to wait a minimum of two hours for everything to dry, and then you can apply one coat for a satin finish, two coats for a semi-gloss finish, three coats for a high-gloss finish. So we ended up applying three coats because we felt like that looked the most like our already existing stainless steel fridge. After we took the tape off, there were a few issues with the edges. Like I said, that was the most difficult part of any of this was the microwave edges. My husband just went in with a knife and it really helped. 
Painting your appliances is of course not going to make them look exactly like real stainless steel, but it is so close and no one is inspecting your appliances and looking at every little detail. They just look at your kitchen and see this much more clean, upgraded look. And that's kind of what we are going for. We do plan on painting the kitchen cabinets and doing an epoxy on the countertops. We have lots more plans for this kitchen. I plan on doing something to the floors. So we are just using this as the first step in many updates that we plan to do to make our kitchen just look a little bit lighter, brighter, fresh, um, more modern. It's not a perfect solution. One day we would love to gut the kitchen and just totally redo it. But until then, I think this is a great way to just be really happy with your kitchen when you walk in there and just feel like it's really pretty and updated and that you put in the elbow grease to make it look that way. We have moved on to the oven, which I think it turned out the best out of all of them. It looks so good, you guys. I would say the biggest tip is put the tape around where all the black is. So first we put the tape around where the black is, but we left some of the like little black dots. I'll show you guys in a minute. And we didn't like the way that looked, so we had to redo the tape. And it kind of, you can kind of tell when you look super close that we had to do that. So I would say just make sure you cover all the black when you're doing it around the little window. Also make sure that you are going from left to right always. My husband went up and down on the first side, like the first stroke on the right, and he realized that was not good. You need to follow the instructions and go from left to right. That's very important because that is how stainless steel actually looks. Our stainless steel fridge has some of those lines going from left to right, horizontal. So. Biggest tip, follow the instructions exactly. They give you pretty minor instructions, but the ones they give you, follow them exactly. Now we are painting the sides of the microwave. My husband started with this really small brush and then he realized he should have just stayed with the brush he was using for everything else. It was a lot less time consuming and it worked perfectly fine. I'm not sure what happened to the footage when we removed the final tape on the oven, but it turned out so good. Just be really careful. It's a little bit tricky. That's the trickiest part of the oven is going around the window. So cover the black fully, but also make sure you make the tape kind of rounded on the corners and just make it look like how you want that opening to look. And so when you take off the paint of the tape, it will just look really even and smooth. So the first time we did it, when we didn't cover the black, it didn't end up as smooth, but my husband made sure to be very careful about how he laid the tape the second time and it turned out really, really good. Now we are going over the dishwasher with a roller brush. We had read some reviews that some people did that for the final coat and it definitely helped. The issue was just that we were not patient and we didn't wait for the coats to fully dry. So that was the issue with the dishwasher, but it turned out just fine, you guys will see. So even if you have issues, it will st still turn out really, really good. Now here is the fridge. This is the biggest appliance that we did and it also turned out really, really good. It's definitely more time consuming, but you just do the exact same steps and it turned out awesome.
All right guys, that is it. We are loving our painted appliances. They're very easy to clean. I just wiped them down with a wet rag and they've been holding up really well so far. I will definitely update you guys in the future, but so far they're holding up super well and we are just in love with how it turned out. We're excited to paint more things in our kitchen. Huh? Bye, water balloon player. He's painted on a dishwasher, Mama. Yeah, only Daddy can do that. Nobody else, just Daddy. They said your first coat, sweetie, don't bump me because. Don't I'm, bump me, you'll mess him up. Don't touch Daddy, okay? You're good right there, sweetie. You're good right there. Okay, sweetie. Hey, Daddy, can I buy a water balloon, please? If you give me a kiss. Okay, I will. Sweetie, be careful. Come here. What are you doing? I forgot paint, Daddy. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, nice, Henry. You didn't forget that nice tooth, though. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. Hey, you gotta scrub hard. Scrub, scrub, Henry. We'll meet in the middle. Scrub hard, sweetie. That a boy. That a boy. Wow. You should, feel, you should feel tired after you scrub it. Work hard. Hard, 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 hard. Scrub, 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 scrub. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it does look a lot better. Can I get another paper towel? What'd you say? Please. No. Okay. Good oh, job. What about Mama? Oh. Well, actually. And then he will be love it and half. Okay. And then. Oh, Henry, 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 Henry. Henry, Daddy's working. Oh, I was trying to. Yeah, I know what you're trying to do. I know you're trying to help, but that's where I'm about to be painting. And I had just cleaned that, and so now I don't know. And I'm just drying. We gotta paint it. It can't be wet if we're painting. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> hold on, sweetie. Hold on, sweetie. Don't, don't spray it. Daddy's working. You go spray go outside. outside. You need more? Mama will give you more water. You need more water? No, it is whipping. See? Well, do you okay. want more? Do you want a full, full tank? No, I don't need more. Okay, That's fine. enough. Okay, go spray. Okay. okay. Don't do the dishwasher. It's all dirty. When we get done painting with everything, you can you can clean this all. Now do the cabinets. They need cleaning. <laughs> 